Welcome back. Sometimes the best Christmas presents are the ones you make yourself. That's true if you have small children or if you know one of the best cooks in Central Texas. Today our <laughs> guest can help us do that. Georgia Johnson, food blogger and cook and specializes in making comfort food classics with a twist. Going to share a way to use your kitchen to make gifts for friends and family. Good to see you. Thanks That's for being right. here. Thank you so much for having hey, me. Hey, you know what? What a great idea this is. And, and you're going to do a soup for us today, right? I am. I am going to do a hearty beef and bean soup. It's very warm, comforting, just, just the thing you need for the winter, winter holidays. And it's a delicious meal. And then... Tell us about this quickly. So, yes. now, this is what we're talking about with the gift. What a right. great idea this is. This is a homemade soup mix. Yeah. Um, wonderful I gift idea for the holidays. Very simple, cost effective. Um, just makes this delicious, delicious soup. And it also looks pretty nice yeah, too. Yeah, it looks great. So um, if you'd like me to go through the ingredients, I, sure I can would. just go from the from the bottom. Yep. Um, there's beef bouillon granules, green split peas, um, pearled barley, lentils, uh, kidney beans. Yep. White rice, rice and dry pasta and some, some pasta. bay leaves and a little Italian seasoning. That's Everything all you, need. you need to open it up and put it in. All right, let's yep. let's let's take a quick look at how you're going to do this now. First, we started a little bit of the mm -hmm. stew meat, right? Right, right. I've had some chuck roast uh -huh. um, simmering for about five to six minutes. Okay. You can also use ground beef. Right. Both are very inexpensive. And um, to that, I'm just going to add some water. This is okay. about two and a half quarts or so, which is about. about Nine or ten cups. Yeah, and you want that meat just brown, but not completely right. done, not right? Not completely cooked. Okay. Because it, it cooks plenty in, in the tomato sauce. Right, 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 sure. So okay. we're going to add the water. To that, we're also going to add 14 ounces of diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes, okay. Can you use the stewed tomatoes or the whole tomatoes? Or you can use anything you like. Okay. Um, so I, I actually like to use stewed tomatoes because yeah. they break up a bit more in the sauce. Sure. They make it a bit more chunky. Okay. Also adding uh, 14 ounces of tomato sauce. There both, we go. Both sizes are typical can sizes. Right, so, right. So, you know, you just buy them from the store or you can just, you know, make make it yourself. Sure. So okay, all that just, goes in. Yep, we're going to simmer that a little bit. And then to that, um, we just open up the soup mix. See, now this is why this is such a great idea because on days like this that we've been having when it gets chilly and cold. I know, I know. It's been plenty perfect. cold around here yep. lately. So, okay, we're just going to add the whole the whole mix, okay. just as it is. This is everything you need. Yep. And how'd, how'd you come up with this? I mean, tell, tell me a little bit about your background in food blogging and cooking and everything. This is, I can't believe everybody doesn't have one of these. Yeah, pictures. well, you know, um, my, my background is really simple. I'm just a home cook uh -huh. who, who knows that she loves to sure. spend time in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, I've, I've loved to write for a long time as well, uh -huh. so I just kind of combine the two passions, and, and there you have it. It's my food blog, but, you know, um, um, little gift ideas like this, they're, the, they're my favorite kind to make yeah. because, because they really do, um, you know, just warm the heart of exactly. whomever you give it to. No so. question. Okay, so it's all in. It's all in. And this how actually, long are you going to let this go? This simmers for about one hour, okay. so we're not going to get to taste this one, unfortunately, but I do have um, a portion of the same soup ready Perfect. to taste if you're interested <laughs> in tasting. <laughs> Who isn't, right? So, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Tell us about the blog too. Uh, give us the address that people can. Um, www.thecomfortofcooking.com. The comfort of cooking. Yep. I'll let there you, you know go. If, if that address lives up to that name here in just yeah. a second, may I? Of course. Okay. There's a spoon you going to join me? Oh, why not? Okay. Tell us Certainly. about be, before you start. Tell us about the cooking class too. If you want to get in on this, you can go to kxan.com under the dining section mm -hmm. that we have on our website. But here's the cooking class too. What a great idea this is. Comfort food. Classics with a twist on mm -hmm. the 15th of January. That's right. Going to go what, 4 to 6? Yep, we're going to do 4 to 6 p.m. and we're going to cover um, just good comfort food, a meal that would work as a weeknight dinner or a dinner party meal. Yeah, still room so, to get yes, in? Yes, plenty of room. Uh, there's about six spots open, so great. feel free to, for, to join in. And you can join in and, and get in, uh, get all your information on the blog as well and start following this That's as well. Right. Okay, so this is the, give us the name this of this again because it looks good. It's just good. a good hearty bean soup with, with beef and, and plenty of hearty, delicious ingredients. On so. days like this? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Or actually any day, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm. The home cooking is the best cooking, huh? The recipe is right on the website today, so you can feel free to get it and, and check it out for yourself. Wonderful. Come back and see us again. I will. Boy, that's great. Okay, and, and, and again, look into this because that's the greatest little <laughs> yeah, gift idea. There you go. Let's hope my wife gets one or two.